Hey guys, Joel here from Details Mobile Auto Detailing Interior and Exterior. Today we're going to talk about why I hate fleet work and the customers you want to avoid. Hey, so I have a question, man. Yes. What about uh, picky customers? Oh, I have, that's my forte. Oh, yeah, that's my forte. I, so here's the thing, with good work, and when, you're, when your name gets out there about you're the guy that people want to work with, or I have a couple clients that are super, super, super particular with everything. So once you get that reputation, you get more of those clients. So I have to work at a certain level, like I had to step my game up to get to there, but that's where I always wanted to be. You know, you want those clients. Like you want those clients that are, because I'm a particular person. If you see my van, if you see my setup, everything, I'm like that. I'm very detail oriented just to, you know, in all aspects. So I kind of built this clientele that's very picky like that. Their expectations are very high. You know, I'll have a client that's like, hey, Joel, I have this little tiny thing here. I didn't see that before. So now what I do for certain clients, especially with a new client, I'll go around and do a, do a, do a check after I do the initial wash and any little thing on the vehicle, I'll snap pictures of. So when I'm done with the car, I can show them, by the way, this, 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 and this was here before. And they appreciate that so much because you're looking out. Now you're looking out for their vehicle. Now you're like, okay, well, I got my oil changed last week. You know, the client may come out and say, oh, I got my oil changed last week. And yeah, that wasn't there before. Thank you. So now they're going to go and get it, you know, get it fixed or whatever. Um, but yeah, the picky customers, I really don't mind. But there's some that are overly picky. This is one of the reasons I don't do the, 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 the simple wipe downs. Just a quick wipe down because those people tend to try to get picky too. And then that's how they get more out of you. Cause you're like, oh, well, I'll go back and do it again. Cause you want the client to be happy. But at the same time, they're getting more value than what they paid for. And you're having to do the job twice. So it was, or it was for the county actually for, for the jail. Yeah. So they have to transport any inmates from the jail that, um, to the hospital that are like injured or something happens, mm -hmm. an accident, or they need testing or something. And the transport vehicles needed to get washed every month. So the, I spoke with the HR lady and the lady that was in charge of doing, that was, you know, uh, the funding and reimbursements for the vehicle cleaning. So they had so many stipulations and stuff that in restrictions I, I had to deal with. I'm like, you know, it ain't even worth it. And then when I broke it down, how much I would have to pay in labor and everything, it was coming out to, I think I would be profiting like $50 a car. But we're talking like long days too. We're talking like 20 cars. You had help by yourself. I would have to have help. Oh, that's why it's So labor. yeah, so, if, so I figured, I said, this is bringing on too much risk because if one of my people calls out, I'm not gonna be able to finish the job. Like I'll be there all day in the heat, you know? And we had to do waterless wash. What? Cause there were no, yeah, cause there were a green, uh, facility the whole facility so you couldn't have any water waste runoff how many times did you do that job for them none <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how did we reach out uh so my my uh a good friend of mine his uncle worked for for the jails and he was one of the drivers and he was like man they give us these cars and we drive them through these car wash but it's like it's like you know it's a lot of money that they spend doing that they were looking for somebody on site and you know, I, at the time I was doing waterless wash because I didn't have the van or anything. So I would do waterless washes and uh, he's like, this would be perfect. So he reached out and then they contacted me. But after I did the math and everything, I said, you know what? I said, it's not gonna work. I was like, I would need a minimum of this amount, you know, per vehicle in order to, um, you know, in order to make this work. And they were just like, oh, we can't pay that much. And they're like, well, and then I wanna say they reached out maybe three weeks later and at that point i just said no i'm good it's it was a headache just thinking just calculating all the all the work i'd have to put in and the supplies and it's like just dealing with them yeah i'm like nah this is too much yeah i'm like i don't want to what, what type of stipulations do they have like waterless waterless everybody had to have a well not like it would be a problem mm -hmm. 
but you had to have background checks and you know like yeah, i don't yeah. know how to clean you know but uh all my employees you know would have to have background checks um you couldn't have any water on site you couldn't have more than Why? one you Why couldn't have more than two them? vehicles what yeah it was it was because you're literally on the grounds where the where they house inmates mm. so you have to you know what i mean oh and you had to work certain times a day and you only you had certain windows Not that yet. you had to you they're like okay you have a five hour window on this day five hour window on this day five hour window on this day <laughs> and these cars need to be gone by this so i would have to be logging too okay i did num number 25 22 28 29 today so tomorrow I'm gonna do 31. I'm like, nah, it, it was already. I'm like, nope. And what they want? A simple wash outside and an interior vacuum? Yeah, like uh, interior wipe down is what they said. Mm. So you so know how that simple goes. Simple stuff. Yeah, All right. simple, but over time when you're doing that many, yeah. it becomes too time consuming. And then obviously the more time that you spend on a car, the less money you're making in theory, you know? Was that the only time you've ever experienced working for a fleet? Yes, yeah. yes. That's the only time that I've I've ever really gotten that deep to even consider yeah. uh, doing any fleet work. And uh, okay, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can. It would have to be very enticing to do it now. Mm. And I, I'm just not equipped to uh, to do that much. But yeah, I, I don't. It would have to be very enticing because right now I only run with the 35 gallon water tank. Yeah. You see, most of the detailers run with like a 75 or 80. I don't really do fleet work. I do maybe two, three cars a day. So, and I don't want to be taking up a lot of space. Like I like my stuff being organized and clean. You know, you don't like doing fleet work, but what do you like doing better? Make, uh, repeat customers or new customers? I like both because the, the new customers, I pull out all the bells and whistles. Mm. I hit them with those extras. I do, I do things, you know, if if I do a full detail on the car, but the headlights are, need restoration, I'll do those for free because now you're enhancing the car to a whole nother level. If you ever seen a car with busted headlights, you know, where they're just fogged up and then you clean them, that in itself makes a car pop. So I'll throw in stuff like that for free. I'll let them know, okay, I put a coating on here at no cost, you know, I, I did your rims or, you know, I restored your black trim, things like that. That could take me maybe only five, 10 minutes here or there. I do that. For me, what that does is that, uh, that locks in the capture. That's, you know what I mean? That's almost like, okay, now I converted a one-time client into a, you know, into a future potential client where they're going to tell people, I want to wow them. I want them to be really impressed to where they, you know, where they're telling other people about me. You know, like, oh, this guy came in and he did this. And the work is going to be good either way. But when you do those extras and you walk around the car with them and you show them specifically what was done, you know, the the time it took that was spent. They see you out here with the steamer. They see you out here doing all these things that they never thought were even possible to clean a car. You know, and when you do that, it, you know, it, it impresses them. And, you know, st I have a story. My sister called me last night. And I told her I was going to be starting the YouTube channel. And she's like, oh, I got a funny story. I was with a, a couple of my friends that they know each other. And they were talking about, oh, I need to get my car done, you know. And, and one, of the, one of the people knew that it was me. The other, you know, my sister's sitting there with both of them. One of the, the ladies, my sister knew that one of the ladies was talking about me. But the other lady was like, no, I have a detailer that you need to go. And the other one was like, no, I have a guy that you need to go to. And she was like, no my guy and kelly was like is it details and, and the lady, the girl who didn't know she was like yes how did you know and she's like that's my brother she's like that's where she goes too so yeah. stuff like that you know like, I, I always wanted to be that person where i was the one like it was almost like a, a luxury like oh man i go to him like because i choose i do choose my i'm able at this point i'm able to choose and pick my, the clientele that i take so it, it's nice to be able to have people speak about you in, in that way. And it's hard as a business owner and I'm, I respect anybody that refers anybody be, to me because I don't refer anything unless it's very, very high quality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because when you're referring, you're putting your vouching and you're putting your name out there. So if it comes back whack, I'm like, yo, Reyes, what's up, man? That restaurant, you you, you were slacking on that one. You, you know what I mean? Food poisoning for today. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they must have got a new chef or you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, so I, I definitely appreciate that. Okay, so talking about clients, mm -hmm. what are some type of customers 
that you just refuse to work with? Oh, if so. <laughs> you got some? I have so. No names, right? We're not no, 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 no. Oh, Johnny from uh, no. <laughs> Johnny's on the block. Yeah. Yo, no. you watching this? <laughs> no. Um, some clients insist that we use their products. Um, what are you talking about? So say they'll buy. Uh, so you know on. Um, on Google, Instagram, you know, all these ads pop up for different types of stuff. And detailing, if you follow anything with detailing, there's so many, people are selling snake oil left and right. Oh, this is the newest such and such. You know, it'll be a $50 bottle of spray wax, you know, and the client will buy that and they'll want me to come out and do their car, but they want me to use this or these only, or they bought a set somewhere, the car dealership that they bought their car, sold them a set and they want me to use that. So I got to the point where I, I did that at the beginning. I would say, yes, because for me, I was like, oh, it's a win-win. I'm using their products. I'm saving money, you know, and, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, me using up my stuff. So, but what I realized is not every product works the same. So you're not always going to get the best results with that stuff. I've been trained on using most of the products that I use. So I know the proper way to use it. I know what fabrics to use it on, what materials to use it on, what brushes to use them with, um, you know, in conjunction with maybe steam or compressed air, whatever to, to yield the best result. But with other results, they may be eco-friendly to where they have less chemicals in them, but it doesn't have solvents, but it won't have a certain type of cleaning agent that you really need to break through grime. So they might not be as, I don't use anything really harsh, but they may not be as aggressive. Okay guys, so that wraps up our video for today. Again, Joel here with Details. If you wanna see more of my work, you can check out my Instagram at Details Auto, um, and make sure to subscribe.